Alright guys, I want to do another quick video um, on the CMI VFX site. Uh, this time, this was actually can come really in handy for a lot of tasks. Um, it's not really well covered. I tried to find something that did this already, but check it out. We have these blocks down here. They're all floated left. And there's a problem in that um, because they're floated left, you get this huge gap sometimes. Okay, So this div is overflow hidden, right? so that they're wrapping automatically. But we really want to space these out evenly. Okay, now I'm going to warn you right now, this is a very math heavy uh, lesson, and I'm, I'm really going to get into it. So if you like math and you're interested in how math and programming get along, whatever, stay tuned. If not, stop watching, but this is going to get really math involved. So here's what we need to figure out how to do. First, let's inspect each of these blocks, okay? So we just got a huge list of these blocks. They're called tweets, right? Um, so we need. So right now what we have is we have, there's padding on each block, so that's going to affect the width. So keep that in mind. We have a margin left of six right now. And then what we want to do is we want to modify the margin right as you resize the window to be a certain amount. So what is that amount going to be? Well, let's start with 10 pixels. And we can go up and we can see that we're going to get the effect that we want by doing this. Okay, But we need to mathematically figure it out. Okay, So let's see how we're going to do that. First, I know we're going to need the window size. That's going to matter. So we're going to go over here to the console, type in dollar sign window dot width, hit control enter. So our window width is uh, 1601. All right, so 1601. So let's go over to Photoshop and kind of draw this out because this is I did this on a whiteboard. So this is kind of how I did it just a second ago. So we have our window width, right? And our window width is um, is 16, what was it, 1601, something like that. Hey, let me uh, make that text a little bit bigger. Okay. So we have, and you know, being that isn't going to help. Anyway, so 1601, right? Okay, so our window width is 1601. Great. So the next thing we have is we know the size of each block, right? Well, the size of each block is, uh, let's go back to HTML here. So the size of each block is 256, but it's not just 256. It's 256 plus the padding, okay? Because the padding actually makes a difference. See, the blocks are actually a little bit thicker than they were before. Um, and here, I'll prove that to you. So here's the width right now. Let me pull up the ruler here. I'm going to ruler up right to here, the edge to here. 268 is the width right now. See, the width is set to 256 here. So if we do the, the math, 256 plus 4, okay, padding left, 4, padding right, 8. So 256 plus 12 is 268, okay? So the width of each really depends on the padding left and padding right, okay? So each block is going to be so let's draw um, let's draw a block now so each block we know okay is going to be um, 256 plus uh, padding left plus padding right oops okay so that's the width of each block okay so now we need to calculate how many blocks can we fit here well that calculation um, is actually pretty straightforward. Um, that makes a lot of sense. So that's going to be um, that's going to be the whole thing. So 1601, right, divided by um, that 256 plus 4 plus 8, right? So that's going to give us. And what is that? That's 1601 uh, divided by 256 plus 4 plus 8. Okay, that's going to give us. 5.97. So we're not quite to 6. So we cannot fit 6 blocks, but we can fit 5 blocks and some left over. Okay? So, so to figure out that this equals 5, you're going to math.floor this. So you're going to cut off the rest. You're going to just round it down. That's in JavaScript, that's math.floor. Okay? So we're going to get 5 from that. Then we need to figure out how much is left afterwards. Um, so you could, you could take um, the remainder and do all that, but there's a really cool math function. Um, called modulus, which is like, so there's there's addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and then there's modulus, which calculates the remainder. So if we actually do um, 1601 modulus 256 plus 4 plus 8, it's actually going to give us that remainder. So let me go ahead and modify my thing up here, and I just change it to modulus, and that's going to give us 261. Okay? So out of 268 possible width, remember, this equals 268 right here. Out of, and actually, you know what? Let me write that. Out of possible 268 width, okay, we actually have 
uh, remaining. So this is our remaining space, really. It's what we we're going to call this of of what is it? 261, right? So we because we because because we can only have five with putting five in, we have 261 pixels of extra space. Okay, so then we need to divvy out that space among each block, right? So, so all we have to do at that point is then just say 261 divided by 5, right? Because we know that there's, we know that when you math.floor this, you get 5, and that's going to give us um, a number, 261 divided by 5, and that's going to give us 52.2. Therefore, our margin right should be 52.2. Now, there's one other thing to take into consideration, and that's that margin left, okay? So if we go back to Firefox, and we set our margin right to, what did we say it was? 52.2? So if we set our margin right to 52.2 pixels, okay, it's not working because there's a huge gap here. We actually have to subtract this margin left of 6. So if we take our 52.2, and now we subtract 6 from it, and get 46.2. So if I change this to 46.2, boom, there you go. There's five here with even spacing among each thing. Okay, beautiful. So let's go ahead and write the code to apply all this now. And this, you know, writing the code is, is going to be pretty straightforward. So we're going to say var box. So individual box is going to be our. We have a lot of tweets, so we're just going to grab one of them by doing dot eq zero. So we're just going to grab the the jQuery object of the first tweet. Okay. Then we're going to say the space for each box. Okay. The space for each box is going to be um, the box dot width like we did before um, plus okay that's the 256 plus the box dot CSS padding left okay plus oops plus the box dot CSS padding right okay that's the this is the equation we did before the problem with doing this is that these return things with pixels so you actually have to parse int each one or else you're gonna get um, you're not, you're not gonna get correct results so parse int close that parenthesis, parse int, close that parenthesis, parse int, close that parenthesis. Okay, so that's going to give us the space for each box. So if we do console.log um, space for each each box, okay, remember we calculated the space for each box um, as being uh, as being 268 right there. So if we go ahead and do this out in console here, as soon as it loads, because it's loading via uh, JSON 268. Okay, so we're on the right track. So we're going to move that down because we're going to be using that. So the next thing we need to do is how many boxes? So n boxes is the number of boxes. And that's going to equal to math.floor, remember? Math.floor. Um, and that's going to be the window, the width of the window, divided by the space for each box. Okay, that's the second part of the equation. Okay, and that's going to give us 5 in this case. So if we console.log n boxes, it's, it's going to give us 5. Let's confirm. 5. Beautiful. Next thing, we're going to do var space left. So this means how much space is remaining. Okay, And that's going to be um, the window width. Okay, And that, remember, now we're going to do modulus uh, space for each box. Okay, So that's going to give us, so if we did that correctly, that's going to give us that 52.2, I believe. Refresh. Uh, oh, right, 261, right, 261, which we now have to divide by each box. So we're going to say var margin right, and that's going to be equal to the space left divided by the number of boxes. So now we have that we now we have that 52.2 is this number, but don't forget we also have to subtract from that whole thing um, the margin left. So that's box.css padding, or sorry, margin left and that's going to get rid of that that's going to subtract that 6 off from it like that okay and now we're going to just console.log this and this should be that magic number which i forgot what it was uh 46.2 okay so now all we have to do is apply it and to do that all we're going to do is grab this tweet as a every tweet now cuz we want to do this to all the tweets uh .css margin right and we're going to just apply margin right to it and save and now refresh and now that perfectly evenly spaces them so now the whole point of this though is that the window is going to be different sizes so we want to do it on the window change see this shouldn't happen so all we really need to do is just throw that inside of a window resize function so right here 
So put that inside of a window resize like that. Okay, so now it's going to happen as you resize the window. Obviously, it's not happening when we start, so we got to fix that. But as I resize, see how it's automatically filling the space in for the number of blocks as I go. So now I just have to call the window resize function when the page is ready. So just right here, so we're just going to call it, we're just going to call resize, and that's going to cause the resize to do it. So now I'll refresh. And there you go. So now it automatically called the resize function, putting it in the right spot. And as I move the page, you can see it's evenly putting spacing between the number of tweets as it needs to. So equation success. There you go. So as you can see, um, if, you're if you're into math, then uh, there's sometimes some really awesome uses that you can do for it, and it comes really in handy.